How do you get your calcium without having milk? And is it even possible? Especially after being told that milk is the primary source of calcium. And also by telling us this. Milk's got calcium, don't you know? Good for teeth and bones and hair. Makes you big, makes you strong. Well, today I'm going to help you with foods that have two times more calcium than milk. Yes, that's much more calcium. And it's not just about the calcium, but they are absorbed by the body even better than milk. So whether you are lactose intolerant or you have a calcium deficiency, or even if you're just looking for natural sources of calcium, well, today we are going to dive into all those foods that are going to help you with calcium. So say goodbye to that milk moustache because you won't need it, especially after watching this video. Now, before we get started, let's try and understand quickly as to why is calcium very important for our bodies. Now, apart from all the tons of functions that calcium does, calcium is very important to maintain strong bones and teeth. And with that, it also plays a very important role in supporting nerve function and even in aiding blood clotting. So that is why you have to make sure that you get enough of calcium because it is very important for your well-being. And even though traditionally we've been told that milk is like this undisputed king when it comes to calcium, let's change that perception today. Now, according to the National Institute of Health, the calcium intake for an average male and female will slightly differ depending on their age bracket. So if you are around 14 to 18 years, then you require around 1300 milligrams for both a male and female. If you're in the age bracket of 19 to 50 years, then both would require around 1000 milligrams. If you come under the age bracket of 51 to 70 years, then a male would require 1000 milligrams, while a female would require slightly higher, which is 1200 milligrams. And if you're 70 plus, then both would require 1200 milligrams, which is quite the same. So these are your recommended daily intake values for calcium. But that's not all. Calcium also needs to be well absorbed by the body. So what are the best sources of calcium other than milk? Well, let's start with the very first, which are nuts and seeds. Now, this might come as a surprise, but but nuts and seeds are literally a powerhouse when it comes to calcium. And if you're wondering that how can nuts and seeds beat milk when it comes to the calcium game, well, let me break it down for you with some scientific facts. Studies like this one, which is published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition, have found that calcium in almonds is highly bioavailable. Now, what does that mean? It means that your body can easily absorb and use the calcium that are found in almonds, making it a fantastic alternative for those who may be lactose intolerant or simply just looking for alternative calcium sources. And think about it this way. A handful of almonds can not only satisfy your crunchy cravings, but also contribute to your daily calcium needs. And Calcium and almonds are two times more than cow's milk. But this whole calcium adventure doesn't stop there. Let's talk about two others which are chia and sesame seeds. Now chia seeds, which are those tiny black or white wonders, are not only the seeds that you see in those trendy Instagram dishes. They are also rich in calcium. And there is a study that's in the Journal of Food Science and Technology that highlights the impressive calcium content of chia seeds. And if you think about it, chia seeds have five times more calcium than milk. Now if you thought that that was it, well this seed, which I'm going to talk about next is the god of calcium and that's sesame seeds. Now sesame seeds are something that you've seen on burger buns and they are those white little seeds that you see on top. And sesame seeds have seven to eight times more calcium than milk. And they are also one of the best absorbed calcium sources by the body. So if you have to compare them, then this is what it looks like. And there is also a study in the International Journal of Food Sciences and Nutrition, which reveals that sesame seeds are a concentrated source of calcium with high bioavailability. Like you can just see the major difference. So roughly around seven to eight tablespoons of sesame seeds will cover up your calcium for the entire day. And even though these have the highest amount of calcium, there are many other nuts and seeds which also contain calcium, but even though they are much lower by themselves, so if you mix them up or combine a few together, they will give you a big boost of calcium. And apart from that, they will give you tons of other nutrients that cow's milk doesn't really have. Now when it comes to your next set of superheroes, well, they are your leafy greens. They are somewhat like the superheroes of the vegetable world. I'm talking about kale, broccoli and even bok choy. And why do they deserve that front row seat when it comes to calcium? Well, let's try and understand that as well. Now even though we are conditioned to associate calcium when it comes to dairy or milk, these leafy greens shake things up scientifically. Like the one published in the Journal of Food Science, this study found that calcium in leafy greens is not only abundant, but also highly absorbable by our bodies. Which means that you can munch on your kale salad or you can even toss that broccoli for a stir fry and with all the vitamins and minerals that you get, you are also giving your bones highly absorbable calcium. Like broccoli, which are those little green trees on your plate, they not only contain fiber and vitamins, but also a significant amount of calcium. And bok choy with its crisp texture is another green giant when it comes to calcium content. And even though as compared to milk, they might seem a bit less, but when you have a salad, you mix things up 
you will put in some kale and some broccoli and you will add a lot of vibrant color that way so that bowl entirely will become more like a calcium powerhouse it's literally like giving a nutritional hug with every bite but it's not just calcium you're also getting vitamins minerals fiber a lot of antioxidants and plus these foods do not have the unnecessary things that milk has which is your saturated fat your cholesterol and even hormones so whether you're just steaming these vegetables as a side dish you're not just making your taste buds happy but you're also giving your body a big nutritional boost Nowadays, you also get many milk alternatives, which are your plant-based milk, like soy and almond milk. And you might be wondering that, do they even match up to the calcium content that traditional milk has? Well, let's try and understand that as well. Studies such as the one in the European Journal of Nutrition has shown that fortified plant-based milk alternatives can indeed be excellent sources of calcium. They are often fortified to provide levels of calcium that are comparable to even exceeding those found in dairy milk. And let's take an example. A cup of fortified almond milk can contain as much calcium as a cup of dairy milk. But it comes with a bonus. It's lactose free and it won't come with hundreds of other things like cholesterol, saturated fat and hormones. Plus it's a friendly choice for those who are lactose intolerant. So there you go, calcium that's quite equal to traditional milk. And soy milk and almond milk can taste quite different at first, especially when you're used to having traditional milk. But just like everything else, your taste buds will take a little while to get used to it. And finally, we have tofu and soy products. Now, tofu, tempeh and endamame are not just staple in many Asian cuisines. They are also a fantastic source of calcium. You're not just savouring those flavours, you're also supporting your bone health. And also consider this. Swap your meat for your tofu whenever you can and it's not about converting you to a plant-based lifestyle. It's just a smart move for your calcium intake. And you can have your tofu in a curry or a crispy tofu stir-fry. And it's not just delicious but also a fantastic way to sneak in some bone-boosting nutrients. And just 100 grams of tofu consists around 350 grams of calcium. And it doesn't really end there. Tempeh with its nutty flavor and hearty texture is not only a great source of protein, but also is a power pack punch of calcium. And endamame as well. You find them a lot in Japanese cuisine. So there you have it, all the foods that have two times more or even much more calcium than milk. So if you have a calcium deficiency or you want those bones to become stronger, just have quite a good amount of these foods. So from the leafy greens like kale and broccoli to soy products to the nutty goodness of almonds, these are all the amazing calcium sources and they're all backed by science. And if you found this video helpful, then feel free to check out any of the other videos on this channel. And remember that your health journey is a marathon and not a sprint. So make better choices when it comes to your food nutritionally. And until we meet again next, don't stress and be awesome. Rosh that.